Hello, it's time for empties. Do you guys know these little containers by now? <laughs> I keep all of my products in these or these clear ones. These are from Target, the other ones are from Amazon. Shops kiss, love. But that's not why we're here today. Today we're talking about my empties. I realized I was like, oh, I just have a few empties. And then I realized this is gonna take me like 30 minutes to get through. So I might as well just sit down. And today I am not going in any order. I haven't organized these. I'm just gonna pick one up and tell you what it is and tell you if I'll repurchase it. So if you like that kind of thing, stick around. Okay, first up, they're all covered in cat hair because at a certain point, all products in my house become covered in cat hair. So this is the Tanlux Gradual. Obviously this is empty. This is um, 8.45 fluid ounces. So not the most for a lotion, but this is a gradual tan lotion. It's different from a normal lotion. <laughs> it's $30, so it's not cheap, but I find that it lasts me a long time. This is my third bottle, so it's a clear favorite. So this could be a favorite slash an empty. I already repurchased it, I've already used it. It does have that smell, like that self-tanner smell. I'm okay with it. It's not terrible, especially if I put it on in the morning and then kind of like let it be, because you don't wash this off. I find it to be okay. And then at night, like I can still smell it, but it's not the worst thing in the world. So no streaks, very gradual, but like enough of a color. It's just my favorite. I feel like it's, you just can't go wrong with it. Like you cannot mess it up, but yeah, forever repurchase. Okay, the next one is the Pyongkang Yo. I'm sorry, I really didn't know how to pronounce that. This is a Korean oil cleanser. They call it a deep cleansing oil. I would not go with the word deep. I find that it doesn't get my makeup off easily as I would like, and it's just not something I would repurchase. But I say that I would repurchase it as my makeup, like brush or sponge cleanser oil cleanser, whatever, makeup remover that I use to clean my brushes with because that's what I've started doing lately. Like why don't we use oil cleansers to remove the makeup from our brushes when we're cleaning them? It's pretty brilliant, we use it on our face. So this is a good option for that. Forget how much it is. That's kind of the, the determining factor if I would repurchase because if it's expensive, then no, there are much cheaper options that I like more. But if it was cheap and I really can't remember, I would repurchase it to clean my brushes. And if you wanna see a video on that, I mean, there's nothing to it, but like, honestly, if you have not cleaned your makeup brushes or sponges with a makeup cleansing oil, try it. It, it does it so much quicker. It's so much, it's just a better option. And especially if you have one that you maybe don't love for your face, Try it for your brushes. Okay, now we have the Naturium Fermented Camellia Creamy Cleansing Oil. Oh my God, too many words. This is a gel oil cleanser. So it comes out in kind of, not the softest um, texture, but a gel texture. And then when you blend it into your hands and like really warm it up, it does kind of get a, a softer kind of feel, a little bit silkier of a feel. And I really, really like this. It's not my favorite, but out of, probably like the cheaper drugstore-ish options, this would be one of my favorites. And I actually prefer this to the, the one in the jar from Naturium, just because I find that I get more product in this. This is what, um, 3.5 fluid ounces, and I think the jar is two or something. I go through the jars too quickly. This I can use a little bit more sparingly. I also enjoy having this tube so I can just put it in my hands. I find that in the shower, this is a little easier than the jar. And as I said, just make sure that you do really like emulsify, or not emulsify, but warm it up in your hands. And then it's a lot easier to uh, spread on your face. So I would repurchase it. But like I say with Naturium, one of the things that really bothers me is I find that their website and like the shipping there, I, I, I know you get free shipping after a certain point, but the amount that I want to purchase, I want them all, like all of their products to be in Target. And it's just a selection of their products. But that's not for this video. Um, next we have the sunscreen new, what is this called? I don't know, sun second skin. <laughs> this is the clear version. Um, this is kind of like a version of the unseen sunscreen from Supergoop. It's that clear silicone-y texture, works really well as a primer. 
This is a wonderful, wonderful sunscreen. For me, I probably won't repurchase it just because I have to get it from Europe. But if I lived in Europe and this was an affordable option, again, I don't remember the price of this. I don't think it's super cheap, but if it's the same price as Supergroup, I would choose this over Supergroup. The packaging is a little weird and not my favorite, but actually I prefer this kind of packaging over the Supergoop one because the Supergoop one comes in, I don't have one in front of me, but just that tiny little top. And like, if you try to put it on any counter, it inevitably falls over. And this for that purpose is better. <laughs> Another empty, we have the La Roche-Posay Lipgar AP Triple Repair Moisturizing Cream. This is a lovely, lovely, lovely moisturizer. This is the smaller size, or I think they have a travel one, and I know they have a bigger one, and then even like a jumbo with a pump. This can be used for your face, body, hands, sensitive skin. It has no scent. It is incredibly moisturizing. It can feel a little greasy at times, but I don't use this at in the daytime. This is a nighttime cream for me. If you have drier skin, you could probably get away with it, but it may be a little rich and a little thick, so I, I highly recommend using it at, the night, at nighttime. But this one, this 2.5 fluid ounce, which is like a, a, a good size, I think it was like $8. So if you are just wanting something simple and you don't want to spend a lot, I highly recommend La Roche-Posay. I think their products out of like the Cetaphil, CeraVe, La Roche-Posay, I tend to love La Roche-Posay out of those three. And this is one that's just a staple in my wardrobe, not wardrobe, skin drobe. There we go. <laughs> Okay, I've got a sad, sad empty. This is the Tower 28 Make Waves. This is the brown shade, and I don't think this is used up, but I want you to see something. Do you see that liquid around the edge of this? It has seeped out, and it's made the, the wand and the actual brush, you can't see it, but it's made the formula so dry, like, it just, I don't know. I, I think there's something wrong with it. I should have said something to Tower 28. I didn't. It's way long gone that I could probably get a refund. I didn't have this problem with their black one. So I don't know if it's just a production issue with the brown versus black or just I got like a faulty one. But from the very first time that I used it, it just didn't feel the same. It felt very dry, very cakey. And so I don't like it. I would repurchase the original, the black one, and hopefully this wouldn't be an issue, but, and I, I don't know, I, I really think that this could just be a one-off, so I can't say that, like, don't purchase it, but it is what it is. All right, the Fit Glow Beauty Eye, I, I see Firm. I don't know why I bought this. I bought this so long ago. I think I bought it because I liked their, whatever that moisturizer is. I can't remember the name of it. And they didn't have it in stock, so I was like, oh, I'll get this. I don't like it. I don't want to waste my time talking about this because there are so many eye creams that do a better job. If you're going to purchase one, this is very expensive brand usually like all of the Fit Glow stuff is, but if you're going to just purchase one and you don't mind spending a little bit of money, the First Aid Beauty Retinol, I forget what it's called, Triple Retinol or something, Triple Hyaluronic Retinol, it's the best. It really helps when you have like any irritation or dryness under your eyes. Well worth the money. This one, not so much. This is my travel size Valentino Vive Voce. Vive Voce? Uh, is that how you say it? I don't even know the name. I love this scent. Let me smell it again. Ugh. Yes, it's beautiful. And I wanted to keep this package because I was like, oh, I'll re, I don't know, put stuff in it. And I never did. And now I am on to the Carolina Herrera Good Girl perfume, which I am obsessed with. So I will probably repurchase the travel size of this. I just don't need any new perfumes at the moment. This I really want to repurchase. This is the one size until dawn mattifying waterproof setting spray. I bought the little travel size to see if I liked it. Then I forgot about it and then I remembered it and then I liked it. <laughs> so I have in my cart the, the big size um, and I'm going to just wait until this is for sale. But I don't know if it ne necessarily gives me a full like matte, which is fine. Like I still have a little bit of glow that's probably more from my blush um, than anything. But it's a nice setting spray. If you don't like scents, do not buy this. I feel like I've heard that a million times about one size. Everything is like incredibly fragranced. I like the scent, but if that irritates your skin, big pass. All right, Array Not Today Gray. These are the supplements that I've been taking. Um, this was a 30 day supply and I have a new one. They generously gifted these to me. I've been using them along with the serum for my hair. I feel like I've seen a difference 
and I'm probably gonna make a video after I finish the two month supply, but I think I really need to wait like three or four months to really, really see if those little gray hairs are becoming less and less so. So, TBD. Okay, we've got the Beauty Pie Japan Fusion. This is um, a bioceramide moisture mask. So like an overnight mask. I loved this stuff. You get 2.5 fluid ounces or 75 mils, and I found it to be incredibly, incredibly thick and emollient. It really stayed on your face, like left a film. It does have a scent, which I don't mind, but I could see like not really wanting that in an overnight mask. Will I repurchase? Ah, it's hard. Sometimes Beauty Pie, I find that like just their the method of like that you have to subscribe to them and then like their shipping can be kind of expensive and sometimes it's very delayed. It's not something that I am dying without and I have other options that kind of give me the same effect. Um, so I'll probably pass for the next time. This is a sad empty because I cannot repurchase it. This is the e.l.f. Oh my gosh, it doesn't even say the name. I think it was like beautifully something. I. It doesn't matter because this was discontinued. This is an eyebrow brow gel. It had the most hold out of anything and it has this tiny, tiny little wand. Can you see that? I actually bent it. I like it at an angle. This stuff held better than anything, but there's no point in me talking about it because it's discontinued. All right, I finished a sunscreen. I love when I finish sunscreens. Do I, I have, I guess, two in here. Um, this is the Shiseido Urban Environment Vitaclear. I didn't even know I was using all of this up. And then I was like, oh, it's empty. <laughs> so this is the vitamin C one. It's a very, well, it's not very invisible. It is invisible. This goes on as a liquid, like a serum. It's invisible, 100% clear on all skin tones. And it's supposed to have vitamin C in it. So it's kind of like a two for one. Now it's not meant for oily skin because this is an oil and it does feel a little bit more like oily, greasy versus like a dry oil. So I would recommend this for more dry skin to normal skin, unless you just want that really, really glowy, dewy look. But I loved it. It was one of my very favorite Shiseido ones for sure. And I would definitely repurchase it. It's just hard when you have as many sunscreens as me and you don't necessarily need it, but you never know. Maybe one day I'll get it again. Okay, I've got two serums slash whatevers from The Ordinary. This is the peeling solution. This is the 30% AHA and 2% BHA. The reason this is not empty is because I've had it for so long that I am sure that this is bad and I'm not gonna put something like this that's this strong on my face anymore. I mean, when it, if it's bad and I don't wanna test that out, but this is a very, very strong peeling acid solution. You put a little bit on your face and then you wait, I think, what is it, 10 minutes? Yeah, 10 minutes. This is strong. If you have sensitive skin, this is not for you. This is for like the expert level skincare people. <laughs> and would I repurchase it? I don't know. I mean, I think I don't need this much exfoliation. So probably not, but I think it's like 10 bucks. So if I'm in the ordinary store up in New York one day and I just like on a whim want to buy it, I might then, but you know, you have to have earned that expert level to use this because otherwise it will probably destroy your skin. <laughs> and then we have the lactic acid 10% plus hyaluronic acid. This is an automatic repurchase. I already bought it. I When I go up to New York, which I go up quite often, my husband's from there, we tend to go to the store up there and I just like have my fun and spend not that much money. But this I love. My skin loves lactic acid. It loves lactic and glycolic. Those are the two that my skin just like sucks up and this is just a really cheap option that I will forever repurchase. It's very affordable. It doesn't irritate my skin. You can leave it on. I leave it on overnight and yeah, love this one. Another serum is the Kinder Be Kind Rewind Bakuchio Serum. I'm pretty sure this brand just like went dunzo. So I thought it was an affordable dupe for the Caudalie Reverse Troll Lift, which is a lovely serum. It's just like $80 but I'm pretty sure that this is out of stock because the brand is no longer. So if I can find a link, I will link it. Um, otherwise, you know, I can't really tell you more about it if you can't buy it. A few more. This is the Mad About Skin, the Perfect Blend Exfoliating Gel. I didn't use a lot of this and I'm sad to say because I love this brand. And I love the creator. He's, a, I always say small, he's not small. He's a bigger creator on YouTube and Instagram and TikTok, Rob. And I love the sunscreen. I love a lot of the products, but this one never really did it for me. There was something about the texture, like the texture was weird when it came out. 
And so like for that reason, I don't know if I, I just like couldn't really get behind it. It's a little like goopy and weird. And I don't know if that's what it's supposed to be, but it just never really worked for my skin or for me. So I'm just gonna like chalk it up to, you know, not every product is gonna work for me and it doesn't take anything away from the brand. I still love the brand. I still recommend them for so many products, but this one wasn't it. Another one from Naturium, we have the Retinol High, Retinol High, oh wow, how can I say that? I can't. Retinol Dehot. Retinol hide. Retinol hide. I don't know what I'm saying. <laughs> I'm just going to show you because apparently words are not working. So this is their retinol serum. This is a very lovely retinol, that typical color for a lot of retinols. And the, the serum consistency is one I really, really like. The only reason that I'm probably not going to repurchase it is because it's 0.05% and I can tolerate a little bit stronger. So for me, it just doesn't make sense to get something that's weaker than what I, my skin can tolerate. But I think for people that have more sensitive skin or are just getting into retinols, this is a really affordable, really good option. And I think they now have two strengths. So that's kind of cool, but I highly recommend it if you are just getting into it and like it's just one of those things you can kind of build into your routine without having to break the bank. Oh, this is the one. This is the resveratrol lift from Caudalie. So this is what I was saying. This is the dupe for this Caudalie. This was a sample that I got from a Sephora order and I love this stuff. I just put it in because of whatever. If it was not $80 or if I was made of money, I would be buying this 100% of the time. And then we have the CeraVe um, Skin Renewing Vitamin C Serum. I talked about this in my CeraVe video, which I will link above. I love this stuff. It's about $29 or $30. And it's a really good option if you don't like sticky vitamin C serums. So the one I'm using right now is from Prequel and it can be a little like a little tackier. I don't mind that because I put it on over everything like sunscreen, makeup, whatever. Even if I'm just wearing sunscreen, I'm putting something on over it. So it doesn't bother me the, the tackiness, but this has none of that. And it's just an elegant, lovely formula. I didn't find it to be irritating. It is 10% pure vitamin C, so L-ascorbic acid. And that's one of those ones that does kind of oxidize. So if you are getting a pure vitamin C, this is gonna happen. It does happen on pretty much every L-ascorbic acid version of vitamin C, where you'll see the color start to change. So you do wanna use it as quickly as you can, like just open it and use it. Don't open three bottles and try to use them all. But I didn't find that it oxidized too quickly. It did kind of spill out around the edge, but that was toward the end and it didn't bother me that much. I actually really like the delivery method of this tube. So this would be a definite repurchase. And if you are in the market for kind of like a good drugstore vitamin C, this is a good option. These are so random. <laughs> okay. This is a mini of the um, Laneige Lip Sleeping Mask in the shade, or the, the lemon one, Lemon Sorbet. It was lovely. I don't have anything more to say about it, but I also find that these um, Laneige Lip Sleeping Masks to be a little bit overhyped. I think the Naturium ones are way more moisturizing, way thicker and last longer. So I got these little sample ones, or like a set of like the mini ones, and I think I have like four or five, and I will use them up, but after that I won't repurchase because I don't, I think it's just overhyped. <laughs> okay, this is a sad, not empty, but I will not be using it up. This is the Bloom FX Tulip Tint. It's supposed to be a lip and cheek balm. I mean, it's not supposed to be, it is. And I don't like the texture at all. I think there's something weird about it um, that I don't find to be a great lip tint. And I really don't like as a blush either. It kind of has like this sheen to it. So it after you start blending it, it is, pretty sheer so not too pigmented but it's kind of like it picks up my makeup when I use it as a blush and then when I use it as a tint it's just gone immediately like it I don't know it just doesn't work for my skin I guess and then the last very sad very random empty it's not even an empty it's my trusty quarter teaspoon <laughs> I broke it oh my god this like literally it was hanging on by a thread and it has fallen off so I don't know guys, this is the one you've seen in so many videos. I think I bought this set of like teaspoons when I was in college. So it had to end at some point and I replaced it with this one um, from Amazon. And I don't like it as much because it's too deep. And when I have like a little bit longer nails, I have to go in like that. 
I don't know. This is also very random, but I was like, what if I made a quarter teaspoon merch? <laughs> like, first of all, could I actually get quarter teaspoons and sell them? I don't know why, because you can all buy them. It's not revolutionary. But then I was like, what if I made like quarter teaspoon merch shirts? So if you're a graphic designer, if you have some clever ideas for how I can incorporate that, like I'm picturing a uh, kind of like a, um, I don't know, a cartoon, you know, like uh, that's kind of my vibe. I love cartoony, fun little things with a quarter teaspoon to like remind people to put their quarter teaspoon of sunscreen on every day. So yeah, if you are watching to this point and you're a graphic designer, please let me know. I think that would be so cool. Anyway. I will end it here. I hope you guys have a lovely day or night or whatever time it is. And I will see you in my next video. Bye.